With ArchiCAD open, if you go to the taskbar on your Windows and type in sniping tool, you can see this tool right here. So click on that. Here is an option of creating a new snip. So you can click and hold across the drawing and save that image in a location that you choose. I'll name this plan and there you have it. The first method to export from ArchiCAD is sniping tool. So this becomes even more important if you are working in 3D F5. Now I am in 3D and there's just no time to go to a rendering engine such as Twinmotion or Lumion. You can go ahead and use the sniping tool, create a new snipe, click and drag across the drawing. And there you have it. You can share with your client the 3D front of residence. What's up everybody, Nayland here at Naditech Studio. I want to welcome you once again. And today we are looking at the five tips that you need to export from ArchiCAD to wherever you want to use the things that you have been doing. So we have just looked at sniping as one of the options and it has its limitations. For example, in this case, we just don't have enough details on this drawing. If I zoom out, it looks fine, but zoom in, no detail at all. So to solve that, we go to the next tip, which is saving as a PDF or DWG. So I'll go here on the MacQ tool and go ahead and click across to where I want to save and then go to file, save as, and this menu comes in. I choose where to save the files on the desktop in a given folder put in the name site plan will work. And this is very important, these settings here. So I'll choose which size of paper do I want to use. In my case, an A3 will work. And in document options, which is probably most important, you can see that this drawing is going to be on multiple pages, which is very undesirable. So you want it to fit into one page. Say okay, and I'll say save. And now if I open it, you can see that we just have a lot of details. Even when we zoom in, we still retained our work. So for the DWG, you will need to put all your work on one page or otherwise, someone opening your work in AutoCAD will not be able to see it. So it's important that you have all your drawings on one sheet. Get the MacU tool, MacU over, over all the things, go to File, Save As, and this time you will choose the DWG file right there, and you hit Save. I already did it, so you can see it's right there. Sometimes you want to organize your work Saving using a PDF may not work for you. So perhaps you are familiar with the project map and now we need to go to the layout book right there. So click on that and then you have these things going on here. I'll collapse everything and let's make a layout and place our drawing there. Pretty easy to do. You can have here an option for creating a new layout. So I'll click that and I'll call this plans and my plans are going to be on an A1 and I'll say create and that layout has been created. This A1 has a master layout here which contains the title block that you see. So now if I come here and delete this title block and then I come back to this plan, it becomes updated and it's been deleted. So I'll go ahead, go back and control Z to undo that and I have that updated in the plan right there. So to save onto layout, just make sure you have that selected. So come back to the ground floor, pick a MacU tool, MacQ this area and say, save and place on layout. Click and it will be placed here, which takes a while depending on your machine. So this method is really ideal, but the con is that does take a long time to update if your machine is not that powerful. Once your layout is uploaded, you have the option for scaling it down as you would if you're working on something like a slab. 
So you can go ahead and offset all these edges to chop out the things you don't need and to keep the things that you want. Plain and simple. And what makes this layout book powerful is that in case you wanted to change the scale of this drawing, all you have to do is to go into settings by Ctrl T with it selected and under size and appearance, you might want to change the scale here. So if I make it like 1 to 50, you can see it gets bigger, which makes it handy if you're placing multiple drawings like I did in here. This collection here, if I pull out something like the ground, you can see I have multiple drawings here which I exported to this one, which makes it pretty handy for organizing your work, much more organized than just saving a single PDF. So once you have everything ready, you have the ability to save all these layouts which contain plans. So I will click the first one, shift click the last one, and then control shift S or just going to file, save as. In here, I need to choose PDF right there. And right now I can say apartment drawings. This is important. Go to the document and selected layouts. Check that selected layouts in Navigator. And since it's working drawings, better to be in black and white. I say OK and save. And you can see the drawings nice and simple laid out very well. Sometimes you want to export just to a rendering engine and you have an option to do that. So if you go to the 3D view tab and your model is in view, you can go to file, save as, and in here you have different options to save for different softwares. For example, if we scroll down here, we have options for the Atlantis if you have it installed. We have options for the 3D Studio file, which is sort of the most common and almost every 3D rendering and uh, modeling software can be able to read this one. You can as well save a SketchUp file. So there are so many different options that you get when you are in the 3D view tab of your model. For example, this Collada file can be read by Lumion. So finally, we have an option to, to publish our model to the cloud or to BMX website. So if you go to file, publish BMX hypermodel, you have an option here to create a new publisher and you can either upload it on the site or save the file locally and send it maybe to a phone or to your client who, if they have downloaded a free mobile app, they can read it. So right now this is Modern House. The contents, you can decide what to hide and what to show. Uh, but for now I will use as in 3D. You can choose a subset of drawings. For example, if you had drawings in here, you can select what subset is going to be there. I don't have much. I can select any of these ones. Next is you select a path. That's where you want to save. Desktop will work for now. And you can go ahead and publish it. I already did that and this is what you should get. And I like this because it's a bit intuitive and nice. You can always open the model in this app, which you can download for free from the Google Play Store or wherever you find your apps. Even there's also a desktop version, but I don't use it that much. But I like to use this phone, which shows you just how to export and navigate around. It's kind of intuitive. You can go around your model. Of course, it's not hyper realistic. If I had to make it realistic, I would have to change a lot of things in the model. I would have to make more adjustments to clean up some things that you can see that aren't correct, that are looking good. But overall, that is a method to consider. Like your client can navigate like this using just the phone and a few controls through your model and give you feedback and you work on them and improve and improve as the project progresses. That's been it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.